Hi, this is Delaney Valley and Lily Vaughn reporting for the Lobby Observer. In today's episode, we got the chance to meet with some faculty and staff here at WHS to show our appreciation for them. Coming up, Lily and I got the chance to meet with the following faculty and staff to learn a little bit more about them and their work here at WHS. Now on to the interviews. I'm a social worker in CSS. I started this past August. So I am the library power educator, which means that I am the assistant to Mrs. Salucci. Mm -hmm. um, and I, um, I work with her. And I, this is my 13th year. Awesome. Right, I'm one of the school nurses. I've been a school nurse here for, this will be my 20th year at Westboro High School. I worked for a couple of years at another district prior to this. So I'm a special ed teacher. Um, this is my sixth year as a teacher here, um, but I actually worked for two and a half years before that as a para while I was getting my master's um, to be a teacher. Nice. And was that at WHS? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm the high school kitchen manager, and I've been here since 2002, which probably make it 20 years now. Um, well, I've been working in the high school for 10 years. I've been a police officer for 23 years for the town of Westboro. Uh, my position here is called a school resource officer, but I'm assigned to the detective bureau. So I get to come into the schools, all seven schools in the district, and I bridge the communica communication gap between the school department and the police department. It's one of the best jobs in town. So this is my seventh year, and I teach English as a second language, um, which means I have a lot of jobs. Um, I also help teach in the biology classroom and the ninth grade science classroom and I help my kids with their homework, and I also teach them listening, reading, writing, speaking English. Awesome. Um, what I really like is my desk is the circulation desk, so I really get to see a, a lot of different things that go on in the library. Yeah. I also get to see all of the students mm -hmm. because we check out the English books. Uh -huh. So I really get to see how students change from freshman year to, to senior year, and that's really interesting. Plus I get to see students with their classes, eating lunch, checking out books, printing. It's just a lot of different ways to see students. That's awesome. And I think working with the teenagers, I really love it a lot. When I first started here, my kids were sort of pre-adolescent, adolescent, and they have quickly grown up and left the house, and it really is so enjoyable and refreshing every day when I come in here and hear stories from students. Mm -hmm. And I just really love that. I feel like it helps keep me stay young. Yeah. <laughs> have you, when you worked in your previous district, have you always worked with teenagers or? For two years I did. But then prior to that, I, I've been a nurse for 46 years. This is, it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I actually worked with adults in geriatric populations so this was all very new to me back around 22 23 years ago so but it's been great um, I think a huge part is like I said like I came here and so I think um, it was really awkward at first to work with people that I had as teachers um, but something that's been really awesome is like those teachers have become really close friends of mine mm -hmm. um, so it's just been a fun kind of transition to go from like having a hard time calling someone by their first name to now like going to Red Sox games with them, or so one of the teachers was in my wedding. Oh, wow. um, and so it's been a cool transition. My favorite part is I like working with the kids. And the other favorite part is I like having the summers off. Mm -hmm. that's <laughs> so, <probably good. laughs> so that's another big part. Definitely the students. Um, getting to interact with the students, getting to know them on a personal basis, but also getting to go to their games, getting to go to the plays, getting to go to these Ned cafes. It's so much fun just watching them grow and experience life that I really enjoy being part of it. That's 90% of my job is just getting to know the students, so I really enjoy that. Um, I do love the students. They are probably my favorite part, and then some days my least favorite part, <laughs> but most of the time my favorite part. I really do like meeting the um, students from international locations. We've got Guatemala, Brazil, Pakistan, um, Ukraine, and India, China. That's Everywhere. Awesome. So I love meeting the students from all over. That's super fun. So I like to do birding and photography, which go hand in hand. It's very outdoorsy. So I like to go out and see all the different kinds of uh, birds that are out there and go around the country 
when I when I travel. And so um, I like to do that. I like to do photography. I like to do gardening. So a lot of outdoorsy things. And I'm also trying to learn Spanish. Wow. How long have you been practicing Spanish for? Um, I start. I took a couple of classes during the um, lockdown uh, Zoom classes, and then I've just been trying to learn on my own. Sure. I love being outdoors. I like trying to be active, though not in the respect of going to a gym and working out. I'm more of like, I like to hike, I like to kayak, I like to swim. Um, I picked up pickleball in the last year or so and I play very badly, but I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, I also love to knit. I have not taken enough time to work on that lately, but that is something that I like to do um, when I do have some free time. Um, I do love to work out. Um, I do CrossFit with my husband, so that's probably the only like real hobby I have, um, but I love like going to the beach um, and doing anything in the warm weather. I, I usually I restore vehicles. That's what, that's what uh, keeps me somewhat sane in this environment. And how long have you been doing that for? Uh, probably about 12 years now, 13 years. Oh, awesome. I really enjoy being with my family. Um, I also enjoy travel. Uh, I enjoy golfing. I'm not too good at it. I do the best I can. Uh, I actually assistant coach with the golf team uh, for Westboro High School. Uh, pretty much those who can't do coach, and that's kind of where I am. I'm, I'm enjoying the sport. I enjoy uh, being with the students and teaching them golf, but I'm just okay at it. But I really enjoy it. I enjoy walking and getting away from things for a little bit on the golf course. Yeah. Um, so I definitely love hiking. That's my big one that I tell everybody. Um, kayaking, camping, anything outdoors. I like to just be outside. I also have a dog, so we walk him a lot. And then that gets me outside too. Awesome. Thank you all. It was great to learn a little bit more about yourselves. Lastly, we got to hear some advice that the faculty and staff wanted to share with students. Um, probably having a positive mindset and how important that is. Um, positive thinking can improve mental health, general wellness, relationships, um, and I like the quote, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. Um, so be mindful, practice gratitude, and even if it's just one small positive thought in the morning, it can change your whole day. Because somebody once told me, we become what we think about. Thank you. So I would say try lots of different activities and experiences um, and see what sparks your interest. You just don't know what is out there until you try different things. Um, and then if you don't like it, you don't continue. And if you do like it, then you continue and see where it leads you. Um, I also would say get outdoors as much as you can. I think that no matter how menial you have a task to do or a job or responsibility no matter how little or how irresponsible you feel like it really is you really need to give a hundred percent of yourself because other people do rely on you and your expertise even though you may not feel like you have anything to offer you really do have a lot to offer and people are thinking of you and really appreciate what you do even though it may not appear that way so I always just say give 100% no matter what it is yeah, that's absolutely. pretty much it um, I think just at the end of the day do what makes you happy I think that's what's most important you're the most important person in in your life um, and I think putting yourself first um, as much as you can is really important stay out of trouble <laughs> that's it All right. <laughs> tell them to slow it down um, Students are doing a hundred things a day and they have different things going on, homework, all these demands, school, uh, working. Try and slow things down. Take a breath, take things slower. Uh, things I give advice at for the junior prom or any prom or any big large event, mm -hmm. take a moment to yourself, stand up against the wall, look at all your friends having a good time and just you know, keep it in your memory and try and burn it into your memory and enjoy it. Take moments like that, deep breath, count to 10, count to 30, whatever it is, look around and enjoy what's happening around you. I think that's some pretty good advice, just to slow things down and enjoy time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So number one, I'll look at you for this. <laughs> you have so much of your life ahead of you. Enjoy the moments you have now, but know that if it's not so great, you will have much more control over your life in the future and many more years to live it. Also, 
a quote from Howard Thurman that I heard, I think I heard this when I was in college, and I was like, oh, that's so good, I'm gonna like, I, it's on my wall over there, I'm like, I'm gonna keep this quote up. Um, so he says, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do it, because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. Awesome. That's my advice. I like that. Thanks. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. This is Delaney and Lily signing off for the Lobby Observer from Studio 33 at Westboro TV.